Hello, and welcome to another episode on the OmniServe server. Server? 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 With me, Klaus Endomir. And if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, you really should. I've uh, only been taught how to use Twitter recently by Dino. And <laughs> it's been interesting because uh, we've, we've uh, blown the prank war up to pretty big proportions. Let's put it that way. Anyway, the keen-eyed viewers will notice that my uh, my floor looks a bit different, and some of the chests have been raised, some of the chests have been sunk. Oh, what is that sound? Oh! Oh, right, yeah, oops. Yeah, one sec. <laughs> anyway, so, on the floor here, I decided to give it a little bit of floor pattern, because I only had the stone bricks here, and... It didn't look as good as I thought it would. I mean, you know, Dino complained it was a bit too flat, so... Okay, I did this design. You know, when you run over it, the key, the key here was if I run over it, I wouldn't have to go bob up and down, up and down, because that would drive me absolutely mad. I don't know about you, it would drive me absolutely up the wall. So, therefore, I experimented a little. I needed light. So the sea lanterns came into play. I was no longer going to do pumpkins because the pumpkins, the orange pops out a little little too much. So here we put the sea lanterns in the middle. And originally this, uh, as you can see over here, this was a cross section. So from this lantern to that lantern to that lantern to that lantern was one piece. But then if you see over here, I'm going to walk over here. You see, it, it kind of looks like it's just tiled to be like that. And, I mean, it's it's kind of a happy accident, but either way, I've done it like a, you know, the modular thing, and I'm going to be covering it all the way up to there. I might be digging out the ravine slightly over there so I can fit some more stuff in, but, yeah, so today, we are going to be building what I dug out over there. As you can see, I, I recessed the wall a little. Um, I did not think about what I was going to build there. I just kind of wanted it to be recessed a little. So, yeah. Is that another sign up there? Really? Jesus. I am still finding these things. Let's see what this one says. I'm a mighty sign. Not anymore, you're not. Okay. So, you guys haven't been giving up on Twitter. I am officially known as the House of Klaus now. And I am also named the Iceman by Block. And hers is, I think it's, I don't know, something silly like the mighty lady of the sign or something like that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna na name her Margaret Thatcher from now on. You know, the Iron Lady. <laughs> I, I don't think that joke's gonna go down well. Anyway, so what I thought to th we'd do today was we do a blast furnace design, and I thought to myself. I want to integrate it into a place where I have access to my ores because right now my sorting system over here has the coal, has the um, has the iron, and I think it has gold down here somewhere I want to say. Uh, yeah, gold right here. So, you know, it's um, I got to ship all of these up to the big furnace to smelt them. And I thought what better way to do it than just to have it in the storage area and I you know what that idea was quite nice you know I, I thought about it so right here you know where the floor design is I'm gonna have it um, I'm gonna do the general sort of you know layout of what I want my design to uh, what my storage room to be essentially is basically what's gonna happen is you see this line of hoppers right at the top it delivers my stream of goods so, you know, um, everything that's not not sorted right now is in this hopper. Uh, sorry, not hopper, chest. Um, and I'm thinking about putting chests, you know, here and they're just sorting them over because you can put uh, two signs. Uh, sorry, two signs? Oh, I can't get my words out today. Two uh, item frames next to each other. You can put items in them. So I'm planning to put another set here and, like, a, uh, a set all the way across where this hopper runs. Although that being said, I need to recess the um, I need to recess the hoppers a little bit. That's easy enough. Uh, easy enough done. So I just gotta run another row here of these storage uh, storage bins. Storage bins. 
sourcing I uh, oh, I I uh, cannot speak today. Uh, these item filters, and we're gonna have one running up here, and it's gonna run back through over here. So there's gonna be another set here. You can see where I dug it out already. And it's going to come back and run another line down there. So then it's going to come back to a chest down here where everything else is going to be thrown. So I am I might have it so it's like a chest right at the end. And you know everything that's not sorted will end up in that. And so I'm going to plan to expand this uh, room this way and that way slightly because I need more room down there. Or I could just... Um, mm, I don't know if I need this area because I've already dug down there for the mine. And there's also, I think, if memory serves, there's lo yeah, there's lava behind here. So I think I caught a lot of my obsidian from here. But anyway, so that's my original plan. And obviously, as you know with me, my plans change. And they do change very regularly. So, yeah. Also, uh, for the other guys who have noticed, the Iron Throne is in my storage room. This isn't where the uh, throne room will be, okay? So I'm thinking the throne room here will probably be moved to... I want to say... Because I don't want it to, you know, because Block is obviously... During the prank war, Block is going to have access to this thing. And I'm, I want it to be obvious? But I also don't want it to be way out of the way. What I'm thinking is, if we put it right at the back, right there, or either right there, just above the staircase when you come in. Because then you can sort of sit there and survey across this area. This um, staircase will be gone. The There's another sign up there. I'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, so, might have it here, so we can survey all the way down the ravine. So you can see the automatic farms, the normal farms down at the bottom, the storage area, the tree farm. Just you can see everything, or you can have it on the other side, which can do that as well. But I was also thinking, maybe if we put it up in the automation section, so she'd have to walk past all of my automatic farms to get to this thing. I know it's going to be inconvenient, I know it's going to have to be, stuff will have to be moved up there every single time, but if we have it like across this bridge, and maybe in that area, I can't, no, no, that idea is bad, okay, I am already shutting that one down, so we're going to probably go that, that one over there, or that one over there, I'm going to start creating it in like a test world, and you know, see if I like it or not. And yeah, see what works. I mean, this stuff was pretty impromptu. I should have done it in the stream because I was really just placing them down, having them look next to each other and all that. So yeah, the light level is great here now and the floor is starting to come together. I've done so it reaches in there. So it looks like it's integrated right in there. Uh, I'm going to do more down here. Uh, I haven't done them right below here, but I will. Since I, I look, if you see here, I've done it here. I think I've also got a sea lantern in the corner. But yeah, so today we're gonna take a crack at taking a uh, working a blast furnace because I think I have a design in mind, but I'm also gonna tweak it slightly if that allows, like the um, like the cow farm, because that was obviously you know it. I needed it to do a certain thing, so that's why it tweaked it. But obviously, if I can't tweak it and it's already the best design, then I won't tweak it. You know what I mean? So I will get cracking on that. I'm gonna dig out an area around here, because uh, obviously the iron throne is not to stay, and so I can have access to the um, the ores. And I'm just gonna take them. I'm gonna whack them over here. Yeah. So it should be all good. I'm also planning to. Um, sort some of these items because if you look at them they're just kind of being randomly bunged in here you know the ice is uh, ice is next to the glass uh, the mob drops are together but the witch drops down there uh, the food is all the way down here where it should be at the front so it's accessible uh, like the stone the stone is free chests I'm planning to build like a silo kind of storage for this kind of stuff and yeah but I mean it's uh, 
uh, later on I'm gonna have like a mini sode and I want to talk to you guys there about what I'm planning and you know I've got a little book I've written it all down so I'm gonna take a quick crack at this and I will get back to you guys soon alright so I've dug out a fair area <laughs> I think I might have gone overboard but I would say it's not too bad I mean the, you have these two to cover up and I will be making a faceplate for them. Uh, I don't know if I want to make a faceplate, but I definitely will be making a side plate for this. And what are these three chests here for? Oh, right, yeah. This is where I was going to store the signs for the prank. Except I never made any signs. Well, I did, but I never used any signs. So, yeah. I've dug out this area and I'm just going to go over and quickly do the floor and then I'm going to move on to the building. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I've quickly done the floor and boy, it's it wasn't quickly for me. <laughs> I'll put it that much. It wasn't quickly for me. Anyway, so this is the floor I'll be working on. Uh, there have been uh, some issues. If you look here, uh, the stair under there, the stair under there and the stair under there they all become black and uh, I'm kinda sketchy on that so under there I might just place like a piece of complete sandstone so yeah anyway I'm gonna quickly do like sort of like a mock-up of this thing and then I will get back to you guys so I'm gonna do a skeleton then I'm gonna decorate it essentially okay so this is the finished product I know I made it out of birch and it really doesn't fit so I wanted to fit it into this area Do you see the two birch blocks here there was two birch blocks at that second row of chiseled uh, stone yeah as you can see didn't fit into that area at all so I'm not gonna really complain about it I mean back here is kind of it's out of the way there's two masking units and it's you really can't see it so I'm not really that fussed about it um, being as up as it should be uh, I mean it's we're not really gonna access this anyway uh, I would have liked it to be further up so I could have had this walkway um, but honestly yeah I think I'm gonna tear it down one hey. second so after moving it over slightly and um, adjusting everything uh, this should be complete should be uh, I'm gonna put a chest there, put a chest there, and put some hoppers Ugh, right there. Okay, so this should be complete now. And let me show you. This design is by Mumbo Jumbo, and as I said before, it's gonna be a lot of designs by him. Uh, some I will modify to my needs, some I won't. Mainly because this one I tried to modify and put everything behind the furnace, and have the furnace faces showing yeah that do can't happen <laughs> you can and it gets really complicated really really quickly and it just took up too much room for it to do so I, I thought might as well do it this way I'll make it pretty afterwards and yeah so let's do a quick run of this uh, let's see the iron should be this side um, there we go we'll grab a stack of iron and as you can see I've got some uh, lava buckets so there's a chest full of lava buckets over here and I'm gonna pop them in here so I've got some signs as well I am going to be using these I'm gonna put this up here and put fuel fuel uh, yeah you can sort of read that uh, and then here to be smelted there and then uh, output here we go so I'm gonna pop, uh, obviously I popped all the lava buckets in there, did I pop all of them? Okay, I'm gonna pop all the lava buckets in there, and what happens is, uh, let me get up here and I'll sort of try and explain it to you. So this chest where I put the input in, uh, which I will do right now, there, put the input in, and so what's gonna happen is the input is gonna flow into this chest. Uh, chest uh, minecart chest sorry uh, and it's also gonna act uh, it's gonna pulse down here oops sorry 
it's going to have a signal so it goes straight down here because that hopper has stuff in it and it's going to trip the comparator, send the signal through the repeater into this block down here into this repeater and into this pulse generator. The pulse generator is going to take that signal, pulse it into this and pulse it into this redstone torch which activates the rail and the redstone here. This block powers both this side and the top rail. The bottom one obviously being for fuel. Okay, so what keeps it running backwards and forwards, you might ask? As you can see down here, I've got a com uh, comparator and it's hooked up to this first f furnace. So as stuff is coming out or through, anything that uh, comes through here will trigger it and it will do the exact same thing all over again. So it will trigger and send the minecarts. And over here we have just uh, there's nothing special, it's just the end of the track and a, a redstone torch to, pull, um, to operate this uh, uh, sorry, powered rail. It's important, well this was a directional build I tried to build it lengthways this way so it just, you know, fit in didn't work because the powered rails connect to each other so I had to reverse it and this is what I went with and he said it in the video, I know, I'm gonna link it in the video and I was just being stupid, I tried to, you know, do something I couldn't do. Anyway, so uh, that one distributes all the fuel across uh, evenly. And this one, as it rolls across, I did test, it should distribute one per, like, as it rolls over. So it'll, keep, uh, it'll go, uh, keep going, and as the second load goes through, it'll keep going, and so on. So it should all be operational now. And if I go down to the bottom, open the output, I've got seven. Seven. That's weird. Uh. That's. Oh dear. Um. Hmm. There should be eight. <laughs> Ew. That's not good. Anyway, so th there are some kinks, but honestly, I'm using an endless supply of fuel. And once I get my blaze, uh, uh, once I get my blaze farm up, it'll be just blaze rods for days. So hopefully that's you know you know gonna power my thing. But I'm gonna take a look now. What's happening? So there's no nothing in there, nothing in there. So nothing is power. Nothing is in these now. But I've only got 25 ingots. That's weird. Oh, you know what it is. Ah. Uh, all of them are in the chest. This might... Be. No? Is it in the... Did I put a stack in? Oh. That's odd. There's three here. There's no none anywhere else. Not that I know of. Unless went that one maybe? No, they're all gone. Th that's okay. I put in a stack and they're all gone. I'm sure I put it in a stack, right? One sec. I'm gonna go over uh, to here again. You know what? I'm gonna put in another stack, see if it flushes the system out. Because that's really odd. Okay. To be smelted. Boom. Right in there. Okay, off it goes again. I don't think I put in 25. I might have by accident. I'm gonna have to review the footage, but. I'm going to quickly wait for this to finish smelting uh, for the whole thing to shut down and I'll see what happens. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so after um, investigating, I have realized for some apparent reason, y you see the problem too, right? The fuel line has iron ore in it. And I'm not sure if it's doing this on purpose, but I'm going to grab these and I'm going to put them back up front because these, they, they add up to more than a stack. That's a problem.
because these aren't supposed to they're not supposed to do that that's weird okay um, hmm so I am gonna put these back in here put the stack in and I am going to uh, let's see see it happened again why I what's up with this you know what I think it is as the minecart travels along you see it's sort of on top of each other it's sort of on top of each other that's it that's the mystery the the minecart at the top is offloading to the minecart at the bottom no wait that doesn't happen then what is happening doesn't look like that's happening okay I'm gonna I don't know what's happening so let's see if this happens offloading here is there anything coming through the hopper no but there's stakes in here yeah it's offloading somehow that's that kinda pisses me off okay I'm gonna quickly tweak this and I will give you another update okay so after some testing uh... whoop sign uh, uh, I'll get it in a second nope, I'll get it now there we go so after some testing all I did was I added an extra row of hoppers so up here instead of having it right next to each other I added an extra row of hoppers so it's one wider than it would have been but it works a lot better now as in there's no mishaps so that's kind of nice uh, let's put this back up here so that is the uh, let's grab a sign here and I will put it here here there we go uh, designed by mumbo jumbo 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 okay designed by mumbo jumbo so this whole design is by mumbo jumbo and I've just I'm not even gonna put up there that I've just reworked it it's just an extra line of hoppers so they're not sat on each other um, I don't know what happened there and I'm not sure what occurred but I am go so just over here uh, I put a repeater so it transferred the signals from that block into that uh, that rail so that's it that's all I've done and yeah so yeah thanks for joining me guys and I hope this has been eh, somewhat of a good episode it has been in it in, uh, in blah, blah, blah. It has been weird for me because I thought his designs would work and it was relatively recent. So yeah, so I've got my new blast furnace up and running now and it's running on lava. I just need an efficient way of collecting lava now. So thank you for joining me guys and it's hello from the house of Klaus from now on. And I'm just going to read the app. Uh, I'm just going to decorate this a little for the next episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.